All right, now my makeup is done. And now I'm gonna pick out an outfit. I want an outfit that says, I tried, but not too hard. And I'm classy, but I'm not fancy. But I'm laid back, I'm a chill girl, but I'm professional. That sounds easy enough, right? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If this is the first video you've clicked on, hello, hi, how are you? I'm Adrienne. You should click that subscribe button and you should click it anyway if you're here and you haven't subscribed. It's right down below. Click it, click it, click it. I'm waiting for you to click it. And I'm gonna start giving some notification shout outs. So if you guys wanna click the bell right next to that subscribe button, comment down below letting me know that you have done it. So say done or whatever else you wanna say and I will give you a post notification shout out in my next video. The number one question I get in live streams and on Instagram and in videos is, is YouTube your full-time job, Adrian? And the answer is, yes it is. Good morning. It's like literally 9.30. Why do I feel like it's so early? But of course it's not early at all. Like classic YouTuber life being like, oh my God, it's so early. And it's like, you're a YouTuber, shut up. You never have to wake up early. <laughs> It sounded horrible. I would say one of the biggest perks of being a YouTuber and maybe one of the biggest curses at the same time is that you don't necessarily have to wake up at a certain time unless you have an obligation like a meeting or a shoot. If you don't and you're just working from home like editing or filming, you kinda can wake up whenever you want, which for not morning people like me, because I'm not a morning person, that's great. However, it's also a curse because sometimes if I really am not pushing myself one day and I'm trying to take a break, I can sleep in like, just way too late. So today I'm going to collab with Nikki and Kendall. So I'm gonna drive over to Nikki's house. I'm gonna get ready now. My stomach does look like it, but too bad. So I'm gonna drive over, I'm gonna get ready. No, I'm gonna get ready first, then drive over. I'm gonna make some breakfast real quick. <laughs> I just dropped my camera. And he thought it was scary. Okay. My perfect array of sausages. So I'm eating gluten-free waffles. <clears throat> <clears throat> They're actually so good. My boyfriend was literally like, these are the best waffles I've ever had. And he's like scared of gluten-free vegan stuff, so they're good. As a YouTuber, I in general wear a lot less makeup than I did before. And that's because when I'm at home editing or just working, I don't want to wear makeup. I get sick of it on my face. I don't want it. Time to do my makeup. One of my most favorite parts of the day. Woo! Guys, I like to use this little thing to like keep my hair out of my face when I do my makeup. I either use that or like these clippy thingies. So this one's cuter and it's comfy and it has a little bow. But then the odd thing is on the flip side, sometimes I wear makeup at the most random times. Like if I've been at home working all day and then at nine o'clock at night, I decide I need to film a video, I will put on a full face of makeup at 9 p.m. just to film a video and then wash it all off. So it's really weird like when I wear makeup and when I don't wear makeup, but I do really enjoy the getting ready process. So that's good. Guys, I think I'm ready to go. Should I just go like this? <laughs> JK, time to beauty blend. By the way, I've been working out and beauty blending after working out is a workout in itself. My arms are so sore. <laughs> this is sad, you guys. This is sad. Makeup's all done, hair is all straightened. Fun fact, I had to do my makeup and then wipe it all off and do it again. I don't know why I felt like my primer I was using literally felt like glue. Like when my makeup was on, it was like sticky and weird and I was like, no, screw this. And I wiped it all off. So it took me like twice as long to get ready. But now I'm just gonna pick out an outfit, put it on and go to Nikki's. Let's go. One of my favorite parts about YouTube is collaborations. I definitely wanna collab with more people. It's just so much fun having other people filming a video with you and not just having it be only you. Probably not safe how much I dance in the car, but haters gonna hate. I like it, okay? Nikki Philippi has been one of my good friends for about two years now. I used to work on Just Like That with her, if you guys remember that. She is so awesome, and she actually just moved to Nashville. I'm really sad about it, but I'm really happy we got to collab before she moved. What's up, guys? Just planned our videos. Oh my god, Valder, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm at Nikki's. We're gonna go to the mall soon. We just planned our videos. I'm so excited. 
actually gonna be so fun. I've missed collaborating so much. I'm gonna do a lot more coming up, so. I can't believe we actually made the time to do it. I know, I literally like didn't see Nikki's text from last week until yesterday and I go, oh my God, I'm, this it's probably too late. I'm so sorry, but like I'm free we tomorrow. And then she was like, I'm actually free tomorrow. And I was like, yeah. I can't wait for you guys to see. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Also, a little OOTD because I feel like I actually tried for one sort of. Wearing some gold earrings. This shirt is from Toby, except I need to get a nude bra because it's see-through. This I got in the FabFitFun, like a different event I went to, they gave this to me. Cute. And then my jeans are from Topshop. Blah, blah. And I actually was inspired by jeans that Kendall had. <laughs> So I bought these ones. I'm not even kidding. I literally, after we went to Malibu, stopped in Nordstrom and bought these. I'm Are you not serious? joking. Oh, that makes me feel so good. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so. We're gonna film now. I started YouTube on a collab channel, and so I'm very used to collaborating with other people, and I also just think that that's what makes for the greatest content, is a lot of people's ideas, and a lot of people's energy and presence. So part of the, not issue, but thing that it, is like important to figure out when you're doing a collab is like the order of the shots because when you're filming three videos there are a lot of shots that need to go down mm. and some people like don't care to plan out really like the order of attack but you realize how important it is because we were just thinking like okay we're gonna go to the mall get food and like do some of our clips and then we're like but we're already gonna be out so we may as well do Nikki's clips that are gonna be out so then we're like what do we need to bring it's just Close. this whole coordination thing and Honestly, really just behind the scenes of the YouTube life, but Seriously. it's like not hard to knock out more than one video. I always see like four-way collabs and I'm like, how did you do that? We're doing three. Yeah, we're doing three. That's a lot. Hi, vlog. That looks so creepy. I'm like all up in its face. Ooh. Sorry, I just interrupted you. So the collab we filmed is the shopping challenge. So they're currently in Forever 21. Nikki and Kendall are picking me out three outfits under $100. Let's see how well they can do. This is the most awesome collab ever. I'm not even doing anything, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> just kidding, I'm gonna have to obviously film parts for theirs, but I'm really excited. Update, it's been like 20 minutes. They're still not out. I just feel like it's long because I'm not doing any work. I'm just sitting here waiting for them to pick out outfits. 30. Videographer Dan. <laughs> So we're having a grand fun. old time staging a work meeting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even though, yeah, we're not having a real work meeting. It's all for the vid. Do you want it for YouTube? I'm really some work stuff right now. This exact moment. Actually, yeah, you're right. Also, good song. See ya. This is the best. I know, I agree. Uh, highly recommend ginger pomegranate lemonade from Life Kitchen. And this place is so cute. Want to hire me as the ambassador? Yes. <laughs> My friends who don't do YouTube think I'm so weird for always wanting to stop and take Instagram pictures. And I kind of hate it about myself because I don't want to be that materialistic. I don't want to always be thinking about like getting the right picture of myself. But you kind of have to when it's your job. Like I like to stay active on my Instagram. I like to post really cute pictures. And so whenever you find the perfect opportunity to take a picture, you gotta go for it. So a very relatable YouTuber moment is that we actually all got dressed and we actually all put makeup on because we're filming a video. And so what better thing to do than also no. kill two birds with one stone and take Instagram photos while we're dressed. I know this sounds very first worldy and it seems weird, but <laughs> I usually just wear sweatpants in my own house. So I'm kind of like, we should take pictures. Yeah, it makes sense. So we're actually waiting for Dan to bring the car and look at us just having a mini photo shoot. Work it girl. Ow, ow. And that is finally a wrap on our collabs. Of course, classic. I'm the one who always thinks it won't take as long and then it takes like all freaking day. The sun is like setting. But the good news is it was so much fun to film. I love collaborating. It's just like, it's so much more fun because you get cooler shots because like you have someone filming for you and just being with other people, it's so inspiring and motivating. I love it. Ow. I love it. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a meeting with my new manager, Seth. He's a homie and I just basically signed with him recently. Managers are so great. I've had other managers, but they're not like doing as much as he's gonna do for me, hopefully. I've been trying to plan some new videos. A lot of them are gonna be a little more like lifestyle-y cause I miss that, you know, and I wanna be well-rounded. Yeah. A lot of people think that YouTubers don't do a lot besides just film and edit, but that's actually not true. We have meetings a ton with managers, with agents, people we wanna collaborate with, with brands. So meetings are really fun. We have events like PR events. We go to, I don't know, just a lot of 
events. <laughs> All right, my outfit's complete. This mirror sucks, but I'm wearing these high-waisted jeans from Forever 21. These Urban Outfitters shoes, they're silence and noise. This top from Forever 21, which is literally just like a black t-shirt with little ties on the side with this cute thing, which I love, and this shirt was probably like 10, 15 dollars. These gold earrings I've been obsessed with lately. As you can tell, I like won't take them off. Guys, I'm about to do a live stream on Instagram, but it's awkward, so it's 6.55 p.m. and I promoted that I was doing it at seven, and it's like I started sitting here at like 6.45 and I was like, sweet, 15 minutes is like not enough time to start doing something else, but it's also like awkwardly close to the time. I mean far from the time, so I'm kind of like sitting here awkwardly right now. Also, I'm like nervous. I don't know why. I live stream all the time, but I'm nervous because I actually like set a time that I'm live streaming, so it's weird. But basically, yeah, it's gonna be fun. You guys can ask me any questions you want. Any way I can connect with you guys is just my favorite part of the day. Whether that's an Instagram live stream, I'm gonna be live streaming a lot more, and I really just love talking to you guys live. I think that is so cool that technology can allow us to connect that way. Starting the live stream. Hi! everyone everyone is just being awesome I love everyone I love <laughs> do you guys like how I have the yay sticker on my camera it's so that when it's facing me I always remember to smile when I'm vlogging you know there are a lot of struggles because as a working individual who is doing it by yourself you don't always get other people's feedback and you can be really harsh on yourself and really judgmental of yourself based on how many views something gets or how many likes something gets. And I don't love living in that world, in that bubble of like caring what everyone thinks. All I wanna do is share with you guys and even if one person views that, that makes me happy. So, you know, that's definitely one of the struggles about being on the internet as a job is that you have to care about things like views. It's very easy to get wrapped up in the numbers and the numbers really don't matter. Anyway guys, that is a day in my life as a YouTuber, vlog style. Let me know if you guys liked it by giving it a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know that you've turned on post notifications and what your favorite types of YouTube videos are to watch. I will be responding to comments and remember I will give my next person a post notification shout out in my next vlog and I'll see you guys later. I love you so much. Subscribe.